you build your support system in good times. And when they're down, you support them and you don't do it because you might hit bad times. You will hit bad times. And that's one reason to do it. You, you just do it. And, um, so there's that. Um, so if you're up, build your support network, doesn't have to be huge, but make it strong, make it strong by doing the right thing, setting examples. And, you know, uh, if it's medium, fine. If it's huge, fine. I'm taking a walk, getting a good shower, getting your hair cut. You know, these things make a difference. Mm. Um, the other thing is I learned to be able to call on people to pick up the phone, you know, and say, Hey, listen, like I'm, I'm spinning here. I can't make sense of this strategy or that strategy. What do you think? And then writing down what that person said, taking a few things and then just going inward, right? You, there is this tendency, especially with text to constantly be, um, you know, increasing the size of your committee. I'll say th this was interesting. Some people came to me immediately and said, you should do blank. And I was like, really? And they're like, absolutely do blank. And then I didn't do blank. And then a week later, they're like, oh, you absolutely did the right thing. You should do exactly the opposite of blank. And then I realized I was like, oh, goodness, you know, like, um, not that I'm never going to listen to advice from that person again, but they were just saying stuff. So you need to be a selective filter and it can be very hard. And I would say anyone going through a crisis of any kind, any kind, you need a committee, however big or small. And if you don't have people, you need people in books, you need people in podcasts. And, um, you know, I'm not a recruiter, but, um, you might give prayer a try because there's real peace at the center there. And from that peace, you can see the right decision. And from that right decision, you can make the right decision for that circumstance. And there are just too many circumstances to say, you should always say this, or you should never say anything and this kind of thing. What I do know is that, um, God forbid, if they come for you, Chris, or anyone, like we got you. Like, I don't know what the best advice will be in those circumstances, but we got you like, and we got you because you're a truly good person with your heart out there being you right up until now, you've just been being you and that's why you're successful. And yeah, I mean, I got calls from, you know, people can guess the names and there were some names also, I couldn't believe it. I was like, these are people with enormous stature that like I thought were probably would fall on the opposite end of the spectrum would be calling me to yell at me. And in fact, we're like, you're doing all the right things. Don't let it get to you. Keep going. Think about X, Y, and Z, but, and I was like, Whoa. So what you will find in hard times like those, God willing, they won't happen to you is that you'll find your inner resolve. The world will come to you and show you who your real friends are, who your real supporters are. And I wasn't counting off who stuck their neck out for me and who wasn't. It was beautiful to see people who did. And the ones who didn't, I get it. Like they have their own incentives. They needed to do whatever it is they needed to do. And I hope people hearing this can understand that the reason to have this discussion is not about me. It's that we all are going to go through these sorts of things at different scales and in different contexts is that, you know, it's like when somebody dies, everyone's like, my condolences. So sorry. So sorry. The time to reach out to them is also afterwards. And you know, again, call me non-scientific, fine. I have enough science under my belt and um, to be totally confident in what I'm about to say, which is like last night in my prayers, I prayed for somebody who had posted something about losing their mom. I actually didn't know his mom, but I just like, it came to me. I was like, you know, like we all flooded in and there, condolences, thoughts and prayers, but like he's probably hurting like crazy right now. And so you pray for that person. Now you say, well, how does that prayer impact them? I don't know, but I believe in that. And you reach out to somebody by text, they just checking in. And this is the beauty of what you do. And it's the beauty of what podcasters do in general, which is you're creating things in perpetuity. The AI is going to be trained on these conversations. You know, your great grandchildren will be able to glean knowledge from things that you've shared. And I think that putting that out into the world in a way that other people can benefit from is, is nothing short of spectacular. You know, when I was a junior professor, I'd listen to the Tim Ferriss podcast at that time. It was just that. And like, I, I remember thinking like he, this podcast is like my friend in a city where I don't know anyone. Um, you know, now I'm fortunate to call Tim a friend, right? I could actually call on Tim, but 
I think that the loan, the loneliness and isolation that people feel, especially people that are striving and don't have a big network can sometimes feel so overwhelming, but I was that guy. I was that kid who didn't have anyone to call or I was confused about something that was happening and I didn't have the network of people to call. You build that over time, but podcasts and what people being themselves out there in the world, mainly podcasts, um, it's like, I really care. I hope that if bullet buster cancer takes me out tomorrow, that some of the things that I've shared, hopefully many of the things that I've shared could help people now and going forward. That's a real thing. It's not, it's not about selling us a, a, a advertisement or a supplement like that's incidental. It's, it's about the material. So, um, I, I you know, I'm, I'm kind of spooling it now, but I, like within me, I feel immense gratitude. I wouldn't change the experience of the last year for anything. I don't want to experience it, you know, for its own sake, but what it brought me was huge gifts and yeah, it grew us like crazy, but shit. I mean, if I could have done it a different way, I would, but you know, God served up this meal just the way he did, you know?